it was probably Derrick Williams that had the thought, my life is over. This is why when he got up in there, being a real street nigga, being a real street nigga, let him know I need to tell. This is part of the streets. A real street nigga will tell because a real street nigga understands that when I come home, I'll be Alpo. I can be any fucking body. I know plenty of niggas who came home from snitching and got niggas plenty of time and niggas still fucking hoes, still doing dope, still selling dope. There are no more repercussions for snitching. The niggas who say stop snitching, snitch. You can live a wonderful fucking life after snitching. Have you not seen it? Be sure to go to the new PayPal if you want to get your um, Are You Serious shirt. Uh, $25 to the PayPal of paypal.me forward slash R U Serious. Letter R. Letter U, Serious 10. It's on the screen right now. If you don't know how to spell PayPal, Serious, or me. Um, they caught um, the second killer of uh, XXX Temptation. Um, furthermore, um, they've identified the other two. I thought it was three killers. It's four. We find out now. The more niggas that you um, apprehend, the more information you find out, which means that you have a hole inside of your team. I want to talk to street niggas just for a second if I could, man. Because myself, I'm having an issue with um with street niggas. Um, for some reason, for some reason. You niggas really believe that that in which you are enthralled in at this point in time. Right now, you 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 know what I'm saying. You smoking, drinking, whatever like that. You you can fuck a hoe here, fuck a hoe there. It's all love. But most of you are in the 30 area. If you're 21, understand you might as well be 30 at this point because you haven't started anything in life. You have no skills. You have no trade. You don't know how to do a motherfucking thing. When you get out of jail, you're going to have to go to a bullshit job just to make ends meet, whatever like that. But because you haven't actually stayed the course in anything that you do in life, you're going to continue to go up and down, up and down, up and down because you refuse. You're too weak mentally to see that in the long run, and I understand this way of thinking because this was my way of thinking. My way of thinking was, um, the fuck does tomorrow have to do with today? This is how we gonna do it now. I just put out a whole fucking app on you fuck niggas. I'm the first fucking blogger to have a real fucking app. Go to your Google Play Store and hit AO Nation JMA. Download that shit. At the end of this month, we're gonna start doing interviews and we're gonna talk about all the hating shit that you got going on in your city. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all motherfuckers know y'all get the All You Serious shirts, $25 to the fucking PayPal. You know you need to donate to the PayPal so we can keep on fucking up these hating ass niggas because the shit getting out of control now. Whatever else you need to do, whatever you want to advertise, you a rapper, uh, a company, you trying to get this shit out there and broadcast on the show, you know what the fuck it is. You need to have a $100 budget and do not contact me until you ready to make a fucking transaction. If I hit you up or you hit me up, and I hit you back, and we don't get no transaction, do not tell me I'm going to get back with you, man. Appreciate the love. Ain't no love, my nigga. It's over with. I'm blocking your number. It's dead. Get your shit together, bit home. Hey, let alone a week from now. Might be dead tomorrow or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just need to make it through today. That's it. And it's not until you, that's why I said, if you're 21, you might as well be 30. And if you're 30 and you're still doing the same shit, you might as well be 40 years old because 
it won't be until you're 40 that you actually start your life. I always said it, it takes six months um, to break or make a mindset. This means um, if, you've, if you're taken from the street and you go to jail or whatever like that, it's going to take you six months to get acclimated to jail fully to where you can be in that hole walking around like ain't no issue. You know what I'm saying? You can walk around, you can function. The first three days, you're like, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm trying to get out this motherfucker. But once you're acclimated into jail, whatever like that, now you can watch the TV, you can sit down, whatever like that, you know when food coming and shit like that, you got it set up, you got your own little routine, whatever. Six months is what it takes for a mindset. Now once you get out of jail, This is the important time, and I'm talking to you now. Once you get out of jail, it takes six months to get into a mindset. You have a fresh slate. You have six months to say, I'm going to do this. It doesn't matter if you, you get out and you work one job for three months then work another job for two months and you work another job for one month, whatever like that. If you have working in your mind, then that's what you're going to be doing. You'll be ready and you'll be into that. But if you get out and you work a job for a month and then after that, you go right back to, or, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be something crazy. Like you start working, then you know I'm saying an opportunity to come where you can actually sell dope at the job and you start doing that. And then after a while, you'll start making enough money to where you feel like, um, yeah, I don't have to goddamn... Hold one second. Put the goddamn phone down. Stop biting the phone. You... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got to go to work like that. I don't have to focus so much on working now. I can put more of my time into this dope because now this is what is... This is everything. Hold on a second. Working is pointless after you've um, achieved the goal that you're working for. You're working because you want money. Once, of course, you're not gonna quit the job when you first start hitting the leaks, whatever like that. But once it starts getting to a point where she, huh? she, I'm killing myself by working because my time. What would I used to say? I said, um, I don't have time to punch a clock. That meant so fucking much. I don't have time to punch a clock, but I meant that in a legit way. I started making money within entertainment to where going to work for $10 an hour was really holding me back to where that's all I could make in that hour. When really, I like how much I can make in an hour depends strictly on how hard I work in that hour in the entertainment field. But you have to work up to that point. And I made sure that, you know, I was handling enough business and I was making sure it was legitimate. But see, that same thing is going to happen when you're selling dope at your job. The only difference is it's going to be a way faster transition. Once you start selling dope, you start selling dope good really, really fast. You're not going to have to work your way up a ladder to where you're big enough in entertainment and make enough money in entertainment to where you can stop working your job. It's going to be a while before you do that, but when you're selling dope, that shit going to be real fast. You're going to get paid $7 an hour in the first fucking week as long as you're making the right connection and shit like that. The temptation is always going to be there, but what makes you leave that job and go back to the same thing that put you in the situation to where you had to get that job. It's going to do the same thing all over again. But you can't see that. You can't see that because in your head you really feel like you're going to do it better than everybody did before you. You can't see that you've been failing, 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 failing at it for this long and you haven't got any better. And not only that, you're not even paying attention to the fact that we have gadgets. We have gadgets now on social media that you can actually see. We have gadgets now that are so fucking, you know what I'm saying, 
technologically advanced that is crazy and you don't have enough sense in your mind because you're high to say I wonder if police officers have this type of shit I've said it you know time and time again that your bitch knows how to hack your phone and track your phone what makes you think that the police don't know the same shit I'm not a uh, advocate for niggas leaving the street, but I am an advocate for niggas not to force their destinies. I'm all for niggas saying, okay, um, I got a dream and I'm gonna chase the motherfucker. I'm gonna chase my dream. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not with a nigga staying loyal to something that is a means to an end. Most niggas tell you that they sell dope to support their family. Uh, they don't have any other options. But they fight for that shit like it's nobody's fucking business. You will fight to sell dope through, you know what I'm saying, through losing friends to it, through jail time, through your rights being violated at all times. You can't say shit about it. You will do anything for that dope game. No matter how fucked up the dope game do you. Only for you to say that you're doing it to for this and that. And of course you're lying because you can support your family off of something simple. By being legitimate. You can support your family by being there. And you're not going to be there while selling dope. So the same thing that's helping you support your family is tearing your family apart. Because... You're not going to be there. You're going to end up doing... You're going to... You know you're going to jail because you've been going to jail. And if you haven't been yet, then when you go fed, you won't see him again. And when a nigga asks you what you in here for and why you were doing it... So I want to speak to you about that. And that's, that's just the, the, the tip of the head because... A lot of niggas don't get to hear this before they catch a capital murder case. A lot of niggas don't hear this type of talk until you're locked up. You don't catch a nigga like this that's talking to you like this until you locked up. Because a nigga trying to tell you how the white man fucked up, as I told y'all before. If you had that focus that you had while you was locked up out here, if you could have held that plan together that you made while you was locked up, then you'll be a, you know what I'm saying? You'll be a, a real deal. You'll be in there right now. But because you don't believe in your plan that you made up the way that you believe in that plan that that white man made up, which is the trap, the white man gave you the trap, you took the trap, and that's the closest thing to your heart. Niggas will make songs um, confessing their love to the trap. I love what this white man gave me so that I can be inside of his system. I love what he gave me. I'll never let it go. No matter how bad it do me, I will not let it go. But as soon as a nigga get um, rejected from a job, somebody say, uh, uh, we'll get back to you. A nigga whole plan over. If a nigga got a lick for a seven and he ain't got nothing but three, the niggas gonna tell them because you know if you tell them motherfuckers you ain't got number three, they ain't gonna come. So you'll say you'll you'll troubleshoot. You'll find a way to bridge the gap. You'll make it happen. If a nigga got a lick on the line and and one of the people fall out, the driver fall out, nigga still make that shit happen. Even if he got to walk to the motherfucker, nigga ain't gonna miss that lick. But let motherfuckers try to go to a, a welding class and uh it get rained out. You think they come back the next day? Let a motherfucker put an application in and, and the, the motherfucker shut down and he got to redo the whole thing. Niggas are faithful, more faithful to what they were given to ensure that they fail than they are to something that God gave them. A plan that God gave them. Nigga wouldn't give a fuck about a plan that came, that like, oh man, you locked up and you're sober-minded. Being sober-minded, you came up with a plan. 
sober minded, you came up with a plan. But when you got out, you started drinking, you started smoking. And what happened? That plan kind of got blurry, didn't it? It got blurry, huh? You, you, you forgetting parts. Even though you wrote it down, you start to forget parts of it. You're like, I know I'm supposed to be doing this and I'm supposed to be going. But it ain't, it ain't, it ain't hitting like you're supposed to hit. And you can't put, like, you can put all these dots together as far as, hold on. You will put all these dots together when it come down to, you know what I'm saying, making something happen in the trap. Making something happen with the leak. Making something happen with a bitch. But when it comes... But when it come down to being faithful to a plan that you yourself made up, you'll give up immediately. And this is why don't shit in your life work. This is why everything, uh, man, this shit's so fucked up because you don't believe in yourself. You can tell every fucking body that you want that it's all, uh, yeah, I believe in myself. I know I'm going to make... Like, you don't believe in your fucking self. You go down here to the welfare office and you pray to God they give you some fucking money. Not in your mind. You don't believe in shit that you make up. Because subliminally, you've been told that you can't think that well. Your shit doesn't work because you haven't seen it happen before. Because it, ha because it hasn't happened, you believe that it won't happen. And see, this is one of the main reasons why I fuck with Pretty and Perfume. This is a, you know, it's a husband and a wife, and they have every fucking perfume, every cologne that you can fucking think of. All the fucking cologne, everything that you can fucking think of. And they have it for half fucking price. Half price. They didn't, they didn't watch somebody else Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just, no. They put a plan in their mind and they came together and they made it happen. Because they hadn't did it before doesn't mean that they couldn't do it. And I'm telling y'all, everybody, if you fuck with that perfume, you fuck with that cologne, get that shit from Pretty and Perfume. I'll make sure I'll put their link in the description and shit like that. They got a whole fucking website for it. This is what the fuck needs to be promoted. This is what needs to be talked about. What they gave you, my nigga, was the fastest way to fail. And what they told you was, believing in yourself is the fastest way. <laughs> is the fastest way to fail. What they gave you was the fastest way to fail. And what they told you was, believing in yourself is the fastest way to fail. I told y'all I come from scamming. I come from that. That's 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 that was me. So I can always appreciate a good scam. And for these motherfuckers that have us wrapped up mentally like this, to where niggas will sacrifice their life, their life. I had a dream last night that I fucking held people hostage, and I. Pray to God, please let this be a fucking dream. And thank God it was. But niggas are sacrificing their whole life. And I know how, and I know this, like the feeling is, while you in it, like when them niggas shot X, it's like, like when they pulled up, they, they had one thought. Then when niggas shot them, they had another thought. When they pulled off, 
they had another thought. My life is over. Niggas didn't give a fuck about that goddamn money. And if they didn't have that thought, somebody in the car had that thought. Somebody, and it was probably Derrick Williams. It was probably Derrick Williams that had the thought, my life is over. This is why when he got up in there, being a real street nigga, being a real street nigga, let him know I need to tell. This is part of the streets. A real street nigga will tell because a real street nigga understands that when I come home, I'll be Alpo. I can be any fucking body. I know plenty of niggas who came home from snitching and got niggas plenty of time and niggas still fucking hoes, still doing dope, still selling dope. There are no more repercussions for snitching. The niggas who say stop snitching, snitch. You can live a wonderful fucking life after snitching. Have you not seen it? You are a real street nigga and you can tell it's all love. You can tell. When you go to jail, you'll find somebody who understands. If you tell niggas shit, they got them nigga, shit, they'll talk 50 years. Fuck around, I told. Fuck that shit, nigga. I ain't hard. Fuck that shit, nigga. I ain't too hard to goddamn know what I'm beat. Hell yeah, yeah, boy. I ain't want to do that shit no way. But that's your homeboy. He on side you right now, making jokes, laughing. But you know, if they put 50 over your head or the needle over your head, my nigga, you gonna say something. You know you is. You can sit next to this nigga all the fuck you want and y'all can flex up like, fuck that nigga, I ain't gonna tell it all. There ain't no real street nigga. My nigga, real street niggas tell, period, point blank. A real street nigga will tell on you. This is what real street niggas do, they tell. What they gave you, the trap. They gave you that dope, they gave them guns. Go crazy. Do your thing. Do your thing. This shit work. Your granddaddies, your great uncles, they going to tell you how well this shit work. They going to tell you about million dollar spots. Million dollar dope houses. Million dollar trails. This shit going to be passed down as a legend. If you want money, this is how you get it. But they tell you the fastest way to fucking fail is to believe in your fucking self. They gave you the fastest way to fail. And they got it so imprinted in our brain to not believe in ourselves that them same great uncles and granddaddies who will tell you about the million dollar trap spots and shit like that, as soon as you try to do something outside the box out of your head, but go get your job, boy. Go get your job. Get you some money, boy. Go, go get your job. Quit that shit. You now get that shit up. The same thing your baby mama say. It by the time you get that up. As soon as you try to do something legitimate. As soon as you try to do something. Not even anything. Like. As soon as you come up with a plan to make money. That is not what. The slave master gave to the slaves. All the slaves will tell you, you better not do that shit, boy. Yeah, that ain't how you get no money. Go get your, go on over here. You want to get money? Go over here. And that's why I'm telling you, the people around you aren't real. They're merely distractions. And they come from the enemy. They are birthed from the enemy. Their inception is of the enemy. They come in all shapes and sizes. Family members, friends, opposite sex. And their only mission is to create doubt in your mind for yourself. To make you think that the way that you th that the way you think is not good enough. These motherfuckers will even they'll tell you straight the fuck up. I like you better when you drunk. I like you better when you high. Watch out for those fucking statements. Watch out for them fucking statements. Big Face Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. And make sure you go to the new PayPal to get your t-shirts. Are you serious? There you go.